Now, one of the core strength of this announcement is also no code change, no refactoring required. Now, this seems like, first of all, a big deal. At the same time, refactoring is also a huge challenge in itself. Uh, how can you also talk about, you know, because when we look at, first of all, Java, it's been around for so long. The way it is used is also beyond, you know, imagination, the way it has been used. And now you're moving to these kind of hybrid and, you know, cloud environments. How does this partnership ensure uh, the code doesn't change, the compatibility remains because you don't even know how somebody is using it, uh, what kind of applications, some are legacy applications, some are model applications. So just talk about when you, you, you make a promise of no code changes, how do you ensure this compatibility? That assurance is really done through the JVM itself. Um, every JVM that Azul has ever shipped has been TCK tested. Uh, this is a, uh, a suite of over 10,000 or 110,000 unit tests that we run against every binary build of our JDKs. And that is the starting point for our quality uh, testing to ensure um, that our JVM meets the spec standards for that given version of Java. Um, and so that has always been the, the mantra of Java, write it once, run it anywhere. And that compatibility uh, is achieved through the JVM itself. So the nice thing is Java has always been a portable language. It still doesn't mean that when you deploy to the cloud that you're going to be able to um, ensure you have the same level of performance. Uh, that's where having the option in uh, the product of uh, Payera Cube to pick the JVM that best fits the needs of that application. A developer might have a very simple service and they want to use platform core because they want a well curated, supported and secure JDK, but it's not critical about performance. Sometimes an application will need and want better runtime performance and by applying Platform Prime and the Zing JDK, a turbocharger that you can essentially attach to that uh, application, you can get better metrics, you can achieve greater throughputs, um, you can see faster compilation and just flat out performance. That translates to a better experience, uh, you can achieve greater KPIs. All of that was done through one assurance that you're in a JVM that will ensure that your application will run in those cloud environments. And two, it's going to run better and you didn't change a line of code. It doesn't mean that in time you can't make a decision once you're in the cloud to look at additional refactoring, but it doesn't become a barrier for not moving the application at all. And I think that's the most compelling aspect of the partnership not just Payara, but also with ChainGuard and RapidFort. How can you alleviate the barriers to unlock 40% of these Java applications that are still on-prem? You have to make it compelling. You have to be able to do it cost-effectively and give them a reason. And the reason is by combining the technologies and partners I just talked about, you're going to get a better experience, a better application runtime that's either going to achieve greater KPIs and milestones or cost savings. And that's compelling. And again, no code change.